Hello everyone, and welcome back. And this will be your general weekly reading for the sign of Aries for the week of August 14th through the 20th of 2023. And at this time, I would like to give a very special thank you to all of you who have subscribed to my channel and watch my videos and give them a thumbs up. Let me know you appreciated them and watched them. Thank you very much. Right, and your first card out. The King of Cups. Huh? Motivated to move ahead. You are always the most motivated sign for always. You just seem to want to get moving and can't seem to sit still. It's kind of wonderful to watch. And the Seven of Cups. So look at you. You are definitely determined to start something fresh and new here. It, uh, and the Two of Pentacles. So you're a little bit wavering on your decisions here. You're not quite sure which one you want to take first step. But you are moving and for some years, this is like motivated to get a project off the ground. Nice new fresh start. Something that you're thinking about, you know, perhaps uh, starting a business for yourself in some way. Maybe you're going to start a channel on YouTube. Start a business for home from some of you. You know, just a little bit of an entrepreneur. And you're very good at that. And the Emperor. So most definitely you you're feeling like you're being non appreciated where you're at and you want to get out from other people's um, thumbs like you just don't want to have to keep answering to somebody else you want to try it on your own you want to start your own business you just want to get out from under everybody and do it your way And the Seven of Pentacles. So you're definitely thinking about it. Like you're looking into the matter now. And this could be you checking into uh, if you need to borrow some money. Like finances. To get this endeavor off the ground. Maybe you're talking to somebody. A banker. A friend. Even a relative sometimes maybe. You know they have their own business. And you think that's the greatest thing. And you want to give it a whirl. Or maybe they've offered to you know, bring you into their business. And the tempters. So look at you go. Yeah, there's new people around you. You're starting to learn to think outside the box a little bit. You know, you're allowing people to have a little bit of um, input into what you're doing. You're such an independent person. You know, <laughs> and the magician there you go you are going to figure this out you are absolutely determined to you know face any challenges that you may have in figuring out how you want to go about this but you're going to figure it out especially with the magician there you are like i said absolutely determined to bring this into your life and your you know just heading at it you're checking out all of what you need to do you're very determined to you know move forward and you're realizing what you have to do to do it you know you understand your own potential here and, and what you bring to the table and maybe perhaps for a while you haven't realized your own potential yeah page swords yeah you are definitely you know going to have a few words with some people here. I'm sure somebody has an opinion if you've talked to anybody about, you know, what you're thinking of doing or the business you're thinking of starting. And of course, they all have a an answer for you. And if this is a relationship, now this could be a relationship as in one that you are in, or this could be a business relationship as well, that you're having this, you know, Maybe you're already working with somebody and you're realizing that it's not quite, you're not quite meshing together anymore. So, you know, that might be where the words are mixing here this week for you that you feel you need to, 
get it off your chest and get them straight. And the Ace of Pentacles. So yeah, the universe is going to give you a hand. They're going to help you to move forward in these endeavors. So that's kind of beautiful to see. You know, it's hard to vision everything by yourself all the time. But this is definitely tangible goods, money coming in, material gains. You're moving forward. And the Five of Pentacles. You know, it's a little bit of a unexpected financial woes for some of you but it's not nothing fatal it's so minuscule but it is there nonetheless you know you could have um, overestimated something that you thought wasn't going to be and that can be like for your business here that could be a license you know you might go in and whatever you're starting for yourself find out that you know unfortunately they have different prices for different businesses so it may have been that you didn't quite expect you have to spend that much to get the license and that sort of thing and the queen of pentacles yeah you are watching your your money you putting money away for yourself you're making sure that you have enough and this is going to you know grow and prosper for you so you're investing in yourself and your future but like I said, for, for very many of you, it looks like you're going to start your own business here moving forward. You're just dipping your toes in the water here, trying to figure out which way you go. And the Page of Cups. So most definitely, you know, there's new romance on the table for some of you. And this is the thrill of, uh, like I said, a business starting, a friendship starting. And maybe the person that you're talking to about the business itself is um you know you're both feeling a little bit more than just business wise you're entertaining the thought of maybe dating one another that sort of thing it does happen and it does work out as well so all right and the three of pentacles so look at you go you are a very determined person this week too you know, make things come about in the right way for yourself. So good on you. It takes a lot of courage to not only decide on what you want to do, but how to go about it. And you're definitely making sure that you're, you know, crossing all your T's and I's and you're moving forward because you know what you want to do for yourself for the future. So, you know, that's all remarkably good for yourself. And you're, you're very determined to make this happen. So that is a wonderful way to go about this. You know, I shouldn't have laid that there in front of it. I apologize. But yeah, you have many things that you want to get off the table here. But like I said, for the majority of you, it seems like there is a, a business plan that you want to have some follow through on. You're talking to the right people. You're moving along. You know, you're... And you want this to come around because you've been feeling like you've been, you know, stuck under somebody else's, you know, umbrella for a very long time. And you want to try it on your own. You want to move yourself forward. You don't keep wanting to have to answer to somebody else all the time. You know, and, you, and for the majority of them, you guys are already putting in the hard work where you're at. So you know you're more than capable of doing this on your own. So you're sticking to your guns this week, you know, with somebody who's going to try to tell you probably that it's, you know, you need a step back sort of thing, but you're going to stand your ground. You're very determined this week to, you know, if they're not on the same bandwagon as you, to tell them that, you know, I'm still going to do this and, you know, we need to move forward together or maybe you need to take a time apart from one another. But this is a quick decision, you know, this week for yourself. You're not just, you know, doing it because you haven't given it thought. And, and, but you do know that there are certain steps that you have to take to make it come about. So you're doing that. You're stepping back. You're talking to some, you know, people that you have to. If there's this finances that you need more of or a little more clarity. And, you know, in the middle, you're still balancing where you're at for a job 
to the one that you're moving into. You're not just cutting ties and running. You're definitely doing this. I, I think this is a business for quite a few of you on your own. Stepping out into the big world. Good on you. New romance is infinite. Either with a newcomer or through rekindled passion in your existing relationships. Be open to giving and receiving of love. Very nice. And on that note, I will say goodbye for now. Remember to subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you again next week. Bye for now.